Uh, it was super cool winning the contract on a contender. I was like, I, honestly, after the fight was over, I kind of knew it was solid that I had a contract won already. Even going into the fight, like I said before, the way me and the old dude matched up, there's no way either one of us wasn't going get, to get a contract. So when I was back there, I started getting a little bit worried when they called my name last because they called two people ahead of me. And uh, No, they called me third. They called two people ahead of me and then they called my name. But I was expecting to be the first name they called off the bat because I knew the way our fight went, man, I knew I had it solid. I hurt my foot really bad in the first round. I thought, I actually initially thought it came from a leg kick, but when I watched the fight again, I saw when I went for a head kick that I hit the foot on this elbow and I felt the pain instantly. There's sometimes um, when like you get hurt in fights and you don't feel it, but I felt the pain instantly and shook it off. Then the pain kind of went away. I was able to push through it all the way on to the end, but as soon as the bell rang for the end of the fight, I couldn't put any weight on it and it just swelled up like a balloon. What's next now is just training and getting ready for the upper echelon, you know. The goal when I was coming up was to get in the UFC, now I'm here. The next goal is to become ranked and after that is to chase the belt. So I'm just doing the same thing I've always been doing, you know. Like getting to the UFC was never really, it was never really something that I, I was like, maybe, maybe not, you know. This was, it was going to happen no matter what. I always told people the only way I wasn't going to get here is if it was just written in stone somewhere, someone cursed me or something. But I know from the way I work and the talent I have, I was going to get here sooner or later. So now we're just working our way up the rank. Before Tim left, he told me um, I have to alternate between potatoes and fish and, and some type of like rice and um, protein. So I, I, at first I went to TJ Fridays to get my potatoes and fish. Easy, $15. But then the time was running out and I was here. And I was like, alright man, I guess this is the only place that has potato in the whole damn casino. I went back there, I got two potatoes and a piece of salmon. I gave the lady a hundred dollars and she gave me back twenty-five dollars. That shit was <laughs> I was so hurt, yo. <laughs> that was the most expensive two potatoes and something I've ever bought in my life, right from there. Scot scotch scotch. I didn't know I was out of my tax bracket. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a bomb. Look really good. Thank you. Ah! Uh -huh. 